Hello, everybody, and welcome to this week's session of Glory of the Giants here on Swindler's Den. Um, thank you for joining us in this uh, this episode. Uh, uh, announcements? Are there many? Probably not, but there is other shows you should be watching. I will I will shout out one right now. Um, on this channel, uh, we have another campaign running concurrently to this one. Uh, it's using the Pathfinder 2E system, the Abomination Vaults DM, uh, GM, sorry, uh, by Mior, uh, with with some uh, with some uh, 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 recognizable faces. Uh, so go join us for that, <clears throat> um, and show that show them love over there. Try to learn 2E alongside us, because I don't know what's going on, uh, but I'm figuring it out. Anyways, uh, let's uh, just jump into uh, introduce our players tonight. Uh, we'll start with Grizzlock. Hello, I'm Grizzlock. You can find me on YouTube and Twitch under that same name. I will be playing Plibleb, <laughs> Kelborn <laughs> Kerrigan, the half elf ranger fighter. You can also find me on uh, Wednesdays on the Pathfinder game Abomination Vaults that Bucket just mentioned. Um, yeah. I think that's it. All right. <laughs> then uh, we have Barely Caffeinated. Hey, I'm Barely Caffeinated. You could find me at Crits and Coffee on YouTube, uh, where I'm currently running a, a campaign of uh, Vandal River and Below the Shattered Obelisk, and you'll see some wonderful faces from here over there as well. Um, tonight I am playing as Siegfried, the Asimar cleric. And then we have Dr. Phage. Hello, I'm Dr. Phage or Adam. You can find me on Twitter at Little Growth. Um, you can also find me at a Crits and Coffee and the Interdimensional Library, IDL underscore RPGS, playing again with familiar faces over there, although it's a podcast, so you can't see our faces. Oh. Um, but tonight I am playing Benjamin, the Half Elf Warlock. And last but not least, we have Kyle. Hey, it's me, Kyle. You definitely can't find me at any of the mentioned uh, campaigns and whatnot. But today, I'll be playing <laughs> Kevorn, the fighter paladin. All right, and last time on Glory of the Giants, uh, our group had set out to help Benjamin with a deal he had made uh, with the Siren Queen, Miriandra, that he would make uh the seas run red with the blood of the uh umberly the, the some of the remaining umberly followers here in luskin um the group decided to join him on this but we're a little hesitant about doing so uh because it was essentially just murdering some evil for another evil to thrive um but once benjamin got there first after doing some light shopping uh <coughs> he kind of set up his uh appearance and try to get some of the followers of umberly to change sides uh he was successful in doing so with a couple but the rest uh re reacted to his presence uh, aggressively we should say and uh brought forth a baby kraken uh which was meant to be umberly's new pet uh the rest of the group then arrived at that time and fought with the uh baby kraken while benjamin took care of the rest of the uh, uh the followers here of uh, throwing the high priestess into the sea and as he did so and the baby kraken lay slain uh, in its pit uh the ocean began to uh, Benjamin starts to see a surge in the ocean, a large wave heading towards shore, the northern district of Luskin. Uh, he called for the others to leave the temple and get back uh, to safety, uh, just in case there was something coming for them. Uh, but as the group ran past some chaos in the streets here in the south side, it seemed to be that there were some people coming to react to this uh, slaughter in the temple, but weren't able to get through uh, because of carts and things in the way. Uh, they headed down the alleyway as Benjamin saw uh, an ancient dragon turtle crest and land on shore, crushing buildings and sending a tidal wave through the northern half of Luskin. And riding astride this ancient dragon turtle was a storm giant that seemed familiar to Benjamin, uh, stepping off of the ancient dragon turtle and striding to the north, crushing buildings as he went. 
And this is where we are now with rejoining as Benjamin watches this sight happen and the rest of you still running through the alley to safety. Um, I am going to turn to the remaining um, priestesses and say, you can see how tumultuous the oceans have become as this petty squabble between your dead deity and the true queen has continued. We must rededicate this temple and yourselves so that we can shepherd the good people of Luskin through these tumultuous times. Um, how do how do we how do we do so? Are they like all all of them? They're still down on their knees, face down. Um, I will take the, um, like, brass, I think it was brass that I got, uh, the large, like, uh, bowl basin that I got, um, go over to the <clears throat> well in the center of it, fill it with seawater, um, place it on the altar, and I will, um, take off my, uh, shark tooth necklace that I got from Miriandra and use it to cut my palm and allow, uh, my blood to drip into the seawater, mixing the two, and I will take it and upend some of it both onto myself and onto the altar itself to wash it with seawater and blood, and then hand it to, or turn and look at them and say, who is the most senior among you? Uh, you see one of them uh, kind of graying hair uh, raises her hand. <clears throat> I will hand her the basin then and say, Dedicate yourself to Miriandra. Um, uh, she kind of looks around and then uh, takes a dagger from her side. Oh, I'm looking for my freaking uh, clipboard. Can't find it. Anyway, takes a dagger from her side, uh, cuts her palm and lets some of her blood drip in uh, as she swears herself to the Siren Queen. Um, I swear myself to Miriandra. Uh, the new goddess of the depths and uh, uh, turn myself from uh, Umberly. <laughs> yeah, just that twinge of, <laughs> of uh, hatred that flows through you, but Let the hate um, flow through you. <laughs> the hate flow through you. As she does that and finishes, I will take out um, the small vial of perfume, pour some of it into my hand, and spread it across her forehead and say, Rise as a new priestess of Miriandra. Uh, she does rise, <clears throat> a little shakily and scared, but does so. Uh, and you would notice, you don't know if it's that these people are now denouncing Umberly, or if Miriandra is truly uh, distracted by what just happened in the northern half of Luskin, but the waves have settled along the uh, island that you're on, that this temple stands on. Mm -hmm. I will turn to the other two and have them repeat the process mm -hmm. um, that I did with that, and then say, also pointing out, now that the waves have settled around us, you can see your temple is no longer besieged. This is also now washed clean with salt water and blood. No longer the temple of the red sails. This is the shrine of the singing deep. Spread the word of what is to be worshipped here. They nod at you and uh, and some of them begin to move to like take down some of the iconography of Umberly, like some of the banners and things, not banners, but like uh, silks, cloths that they have. Um, yeah, they begin doing so. A great terror has just arisen from the depths. We must remind the good people of this city who the ruler of the depths is and who they can turn to for safety. There will be many scared during this time, and we need to use that to our advantage. I must leave to deal with these as well. Um, I have a greater mission that Miriandra has sent me on, but I will have eyes and ears watching you, ensuring you are remaining true to your faith. Of course, yes. 
I will then um, dual wielding both the staff and the trident, um, Huey flying above me, exit the temple. <laughs> ski poles. Uh, yeah, you you head out and you again you see a lot of the um, people that came to uh, deal with the uh, the uh, murder. Essentially, that was happening out here. <laughs> the kerfuffle. They don't know what all part took out in the temple, like the guards and things mm-hmm. um, that we're trying to get through have now changed their uh, their attention to the north part of the city. And a lot of them have left. Um, and the people that had like some carts were tipped over and just carts in the way are starting to move them. You see one of them kind of nod at you slightly uh, as you make your way back towards uh, the inn. Um, I am going to, while I am walking, have Huey turn invisible, and I'm going to have him just, like, fly out into the city and let me know when he's, like, found a crowd of people, essentially. And when he has that, I am going to uh, speak through him and whisper to try, almost, like, so he's flying around, uh, like, head level of people and say um, things to the nature of, like, well, we should see uh, what the temple to the Queen of the Deeps has to say about this. Obviously, she would have knowledge of what is what should be done to protect ourselves and things of that nature of him just like flying to different groups to see the idea of um, going to the temple for protection and knowledge. Uh, give me a persuasion check. Ooh, I would love to. <laughs> <laughs> that is a 24 persuasion. Yeah, you see through like Huey's eyes when you check in every once in a while and as he's uh, saying these things to people, you will hear you'll see them go, oh, uh, I mean, that makes sense. Uh, yes, we should head over to the temple and like you do see groups of people uh, do start making their way over there uh, that are already trying to get to safety to begin with uh, mm-hmm. and confusion. And I will just continue making my way to the inn then. Uh, probably, right. I mean, slower because I had to do that and also doing this occasionally. Um, yeah. All right. Uh, the rest of you, you headed straight back to the inn as well, or? Uh, where were we? So you had run from the temple and went through an alley. I assumed essentially towards the inn, but if there's other ways you want to go, you would have heard heard like a loud noise um oh we didn't see the giant you didn't see the giant no okay uh, wow what was that i mean <clears throat> sorry go ahead no what what was that vo- that noise i i i don't know should we check it out it was it a part of the temple do you think benjamin's uh, already Uh, you can do perception checks to see if you can kind of bust out uh, what just happened. Ooh. Oh. Got a nat 20. Oh, a wow. nat 20? Never mind. Be me. I rolled a 19 <laughs> for a 25. 25. I rolled a yeah. 19 too, but it's for a 22. <laughs> yeah, all of you getting above a 20 um, would know the sound, expect, like, uh, uh, Kevhorn, you come from a place that was uh, close to the sea. Um, uh, Baldur's Gate is close to bodies of water. <laughs> um, and uh, Kevhorn, you've been around. Um, you would have heard what sounded like a large wave hitting the shore. Um, and you did hear a lard, a, la- a lard, loud bellow of some kind of creature um, that. I'd say you never actually heard what this of this creature before, but it sounds enormous and monstrous. So something something landed on shore to the north, and it was huge. Was that us? Was that? <laughs> I'll look around. Uh, Umberly, <laughs> maybe we. Stirred something up. Maybe we should I go will... investigate. I'll spores to Benjamin. Are you all right? I forgot we could do that every time. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> yes, I'm fine. We 
we need to get out of the city. There are um, things far beyond our control at work here. So to stables then. Yes, well, I'll meet to the you. end to get our stuff I'll, then stables. <laughs> I'll meet you there soon. I have a few things to wrap up. Yeah. Did y'all leave anything at the inn you want us to grab for you? No, I packed everything because I assumed we would have to make a hasty retreat. I did. I did it. <laughs> we still need some more protein powder. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, to answer your your first question, Baka, I guess we're running to the inn to go get our shit. All right, yeah, you guys are in the inn. Uh, Benjamin, is there other things you want to do, or are you just making your way back to the inn? Uh, just making my way to the end, continuing my whisper campaign as I'm going. All right, cool. Yeah, uh, you get there. You see that the rest have kind of packed up their stuff. Um, and do you guys meet them downstairs or you stay up in your room waiting for them? My baby girl is down in the stables. I'm going to make sure she's OK. <laughs> yeah, we probably don't wait in our rooms. Yeah, meet down at the stables. Uh, you see him getting the, getting the griffins ready. Um, are we? Was everyone all right? No, you didn't have any issues on the way over. No, did you? There was a big wave. Was that us? Um, no, that was um, that was King Craig on the back of an enormous. Um, dragon turtle that made landfall in the city. I think a good portion of the North District is flooded. Is he here? He landed here, but because um, I saw he was like almost immediately like just making his way like yeah, through like the city. Yep, like this, the sea uh, dragon turtle. I keep saying, I want to say sea turtle. Dragon turtle landed, uh, kind of let out a bellow, and then King Hareg stepped off, started walking north through the city, uh, like straight out of the city, and the turtle uh, retreated back into the ocean. So at this point, and you kind of had eyes on him as you made your way out, uh, he's more than likely way out of the city at this point. Um, he's kind he... of casually striding north. This was his landing point, but it wasn't his target. He um, immediately started making his way north. I think they have um, broken through in the glacier. Should we find out what he's looking for? Um, I mean, it's whatever they're digging up under the city. I believe those... People in the Feywild said something about an ancient magical city that was uh, trapped underneath the glacier. That's right. Um, but I don't... Um, if our <laughs> dreams are anything to be believed, I think even at this point we are still far from being able to even delay the king in where he wishes to go. I agree. I, I think we have to spend more time preparing. Okay. <laughs> I think it's a death sentence if we go after him now. I'm not saying to go after him. I'm saying to go beat him at his destination and take whatever he wants away from him. His queen is currently at the glacier. I don't think she's going to be any easier of a challenge. I mean, don't we assume we that handled words. once they get I don't their think hands... We have. No, we haven't. Once they get their hands <laughs> on whatever it is they're after, they're going to be a whole heck of a lot more powerful. I don't know. I don't know how long it will take them to find what they are looking for, how long it will take for them to harness it. I don't know, but I know we're not strong enough to deal with anything now. 
I don't know, I feel pretty strong. <laughs> Are you... Did you clean up? Are you... Do you have, like, bruises? Oh, yeah. I, mean, I probably got, like, a black eye. A tentacle, like, a tentacle suction mark on my cheek. <laughs> I mean, we haven't even... We barely tested ourselves against the Frost Giant Jarl. We got fairly... Uh, we had a lot of time to prep for that, and he was alone. Um, Storm Giants are at the top of the giant ordinine. I don't know what powers they possess. Well, assuming we don't chase this storm giant, what what would be our next course of action? Hmm. Cloud. We can fly now. Yes, they seem to be the closest and they have a vault of magical items that we have a key to. Could could level the playing field some? If they uh they get their fancy trinket from the glacier and we get ours from there. Assuming it's of equal power. We also would be hopefully weakening the cloud giants to a degree as well, which seem to be pseudo allies of the storm giants at this point. So that would be a good thing to do. Maybe before we leave, them. we should find a giant piece of paper, enormous <laughs> piece of paper and write in big scrawling script, something like the storm giants were here. So after we rob them, place that in the vault. <laughs> Um, I shockingly have something that I could do that with. <laughs> Perfect. Let's go. What are we waiting it's for? It's quite unusual that you would ask to do that, but I like, <laughs> I can make a message 150 feet across. So, so uh, before we take off, why is it that we don't jump on our griffins and fly and chase down whatever just came out of the water? And, uh, if it, it, that seems like a one one on four situation, I'm good with going near water. Yeah, I we may be able to fight it, but I am concerned about uh, Kevhorn getting too close to the ocean at this point. Still, <laughs> I have been freed of my charge to bring him to the ocean, but Miriandra still has. Desires to claim Kevhorn. Oh. I, I couldn't think of a better way to say it. I really tried. <laughs> I couldn't think of another word, though. <laughs> All right. Um, let's, uh, let's take off, then. All right. You mount your griffins. Where exactly are you headed? But I we don't exactly you. know where it is, so we're going to have hey. to fly around. The sword map, sword coast map. Because the last time we saw it, it was like, what, around here? Uh, last time we saw it, it was around here. Oh, I'm so off. Further <laughs> you, you, were, where... you were down there when you saw it, but Huey saw it when he was flying, and he saw it further north. Mm -hmm. Oh, over here. Huey got the nat 20, so he was able to see for hundreds of miles. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, if we start flying basically east, um, roughly towards, like, Silvery Moon... Um, and then kind of see if they've heard anything, if they've seen anything, that's another uh, big population center that we may be able to get some leads out of them and just keeping an eye out in general. All right. Uh, give me... Hold on, why was the... Why was the unicorn... Why was the unicorn, like, messed up again? 
right. uh, from the Fomorians. Fomorians. From the uh, Fomorians. Pumped them with toxins, yeah. Pumped them with toxins. Because of the Did nasty ever... stuff they were doing in the basement. Did we ever figure out where they were getting that shit from? No. I was just was thinking maybe the Cloud Giants were headed to like another Fey portal, but maybe not. Because the, the Star Mounts one's over there. Sort of. Um, the Fomorians were making it in the base, in the okay. uh, castle mind. basement. Yep. Never mind. Because they got some bits of the Demogorgon that they were like distilling down into different things. Just didn't want to make sure. I wanted to make sure it didn't tie together somehow. And Yeah. Did we ever. F uh, the Hell Giants? We never did anything with that, right? Nope, they are, as far as you know, still gathering outside in Neverwinter. Oh, what if we just go you know, kill all those? <laughs> you know there's some frost giants joining them, uh, and then, of course, Atens and uh, trolls and ogres. The fire giants are further south, so we could certainly, um, on our way, go east to the cloud giants and then hit up the hill giants, maybe the dragon, and then the fire giants as we go south. Because we so, still have totems to potentially claim from the cloud and hill giants as well. Yes, that's what I was gonna. Who's I look between Sieg and Cal Hellborn. You can call me Cal. That's fine. A, <laughs> wants to be a cloudy boy. <laughs> that's a great question. Oh, you know the angel. I was going to say it would be. Slightly thematic. <laughs> what's what's the other one that's left? Hill, fire, maybe death, maybe yeah. Fomorian. We don't mm -hmm. know if they have totems. We know for sure there is a hill and a fire. Interesting. <clears throat> is there any field giants? That's kind of my main terrain. <laughs> I think <laughs> hill would be the closest. Told me in a field. Plain. Ah, uh, yes, corn giants. <laughs> Flower, <laughs> flower field, yeah, something like that. Daffodil giants. <laughs> All right. Uh, can I get a survival, a group survival check, please? Or actually, no. Wait. Uh, have, elect one person, and they can have the help action. Wait, what kind of check, check was it? Actually, to survival check. I have a plus six. What's uh? Everybody else can. We're not beating that. No. <laughs> I think you're the only one with proficiency in it. Okay. Cool. Hey, look. Wow. Um, so that's a 24. Oh, 24. Nice. Yeah, you know. Oh, wait, was what I, I had advantage? Hold on. You have advantage, yep. Okay, 24. <laughs> uh, you know what direction you last saw them in generally? The the clouds that they call home. Um, so you start heading that way and make pretty good head ground. Uh, this is a two day travel by flight. Mm. Um, so it starts to get dark and you are above the Evermores at this point. Okay, I think we camp for the night then. Trying to find a dry spot in the moors. Yeah, yeah, you can land a little bit north too so you're not directly in the swamps um, and can bed down for the evening. Is there any conversation people want to have in camp or anything they want to do? Uh, it could be together or on a watch. Um, I would um, probably even just as we're flying, have casted uh, Detect Magic just to see if the trident I took from the High Priestess is magic. It is magic, yep. Okay. Um, can I... I suck at this. Can I try to see, like what type of magic it is before I try to attune to it or anything like that. Is enchant yeah, enchantments the one that changes weapons to be enchanted? I would think. <laughs> yeah. Wait, does Kefhorn still use okay. tridents? He does. Yeah, yeah he's oh. still got his trident. Is his special? Uh, He can throw it and at the end of his turn it comes back to him. You maybe just have him um, attuned to it. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that, I was thinking about that. Um, I will, as we're setting up camp for the night, um, go over to Kevhorn and say, um, I... <laughs> 
this feels like it is loaded in many ways. Um, and yes. like present the trident and just say, I took this from the high priest of the pretender, um, but it is not probably not going to be useful in my hands. I've I understand how complicated it could be for you to use this, but I wanted to offer it to you. Is this trying um, like a uh a oct it's not an actual octopus, but it's like uh octopus iconography wrapped around the tines of the trident. There uh, is some enchantment on it. I haven't had enough time with it to know what the enchantment might be. Hold on. Oh wait, yeah, no, I'm good. I was like, do I have a two minute slots for that thing? <laughs> <laughs> I have none. I have not used any attunement slots at all. Um, would you, would she be okay with me carrying that? <laughs> um, in this moment, Kevorn, I don't think I care. I did a lot for her tonight. I think I went above and beyond what she was asking. She asked for wanton slaughter, and I gave her a new temple and priesthood and possible converts in the city. I'm going to do what I wish with this trident because it is my spoil from the fight. Then, in that case, uh, Kefhorn will take it. All right. Um, you Do I grow a tentacle? Uh, not yet. <laughs> you haven't attuned yet, baby. Um, I'm scared. <laughs> yeah, you're going to take time to attune to it tonight? Yeah. All right. Uh, I also... I, I, I'll take a watch while attuning. Okay. Yeah. Uh, is there anything anybody else wants to do before we start watches? Um, I think in general, kind of as that conversation with Kevhorn would have wrapped up as well, um, Benjamin would turn to the others and just say, um, thank you for tonight. I know it wasn't an easy choice for many of you. Um, I do appreciate the support, though. And um, I mean, this wasn't the best case scenario, but I think it turned out as good as it could have, um, considering everything. I appreciate you giving them a chance. I, I agree, and I'm happy to see you get some closure from this as well. <sighs> Thank you. Closure might be <laughs> strong, but we'll see. At least, Progress. yes. I don't owe her anything currently. To, I mean, nothing new. I got to fight a giant octopus, so I'm pretty happy about that. Yeah, that was a fun surprise. Um, wasn't really expecting that to show up. You know, it would have been cool if uh, Mariandra summoned some beast of her own and there was a giant kaiju battle out in the seas. Yeah. What would be a beast of the depths? Um, she has the Leviathan as her um, creature of the depths, oh. which, how, like. What does the Leviathan look at? Because there's like multiple different interpretations of Leviathans. Um, yeah. yes. Is it like give a me... dragon thing? <laughs> uh, give me a history, I'll say. Okay. Oh, yeah. Can I roll also? Yeah. Ooh, like okay. That's... <laughs> That's a dirty 20. Ooh. 
I got a naughty 12. Kevin, <laughs> <laughs> hey, you've heard of the Leviathan. You've never like seen it or had it real like people haven't really been able to describe it to you. But Benjamin, you know, um, like you've you've learned about it much more being especially being of this like on the seas more uh the Levi- the leviathan as you know it takes the shape of a large uh serpent made out of the water that it's in essentially so it can form itself it's it's more of a spirit than anything that creates itself in in where it's summoned as a large water serpent essentially a serpent made of water yeah I would, um, with minor illusion, because I have it, uh, show that illusion. And then <clears throat> it is technically formless, but um, it's more of a spiritual entity that uh, inhabits uh, bodies of seawater, but it normally manifests itself as a large uh, sea serpent. Wait, does every god have a beast? Does Elmada have a beast? Hey, Are you're you looking at it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Siegfried? He's avoiding eye contact. He's a beast. <laughs> do, do you know? <clears throat> um, I'm not sure, but I can tell you for certain that I'm not his beast, at least. But just yeah, you've never else. heard of one, Siegfried. <laughs> Inside shot, I'm joking. <laughs> you know, to be fair... I rolled that one! <laughs> to be fair, it does make sense that, like, you know, the more evil gods would have beasts, and then the good gods have, like, angels and archangels and that sort of thing. It also may be the ocean deity feeling of like a creature that will come up and consume you um in your ship if in the depths of the ocean feels like it fits in the whole mythos vibe situation mm-hmm. well i i do have something to confess and perhaps i can console in all of you is that this was yesterday right um, that it happened, or would it be this night that it happened? I think it was last night, because the next I morning is when we kind of... I think it was last night, yeah. Last night, while I was praying, uh, that voice that I mentioned back in the Feywild reached out to me, saying that I was her creation. And I... During my prayers tonight, I was going to reach out to her. I am worried for what might happen. What do you mean? Why are you worried? I... I don't know what awaits me. Imagine for a second that you have no idea where you came from, who your parents were, what you are, and... Hardly anybody else seems to know what I am. Um, forget the father's name. Uh, Your father? No. The one from... Uh, uh, it was the Ten Towns. Oh, I don't which one. the Ten Towns Albert. one. Yeah. Al- oh, in the Ten Towns. In the Ten Towns, yeah. yeah. Ooh, I didn't write down his name. <laughs> you think I did? I you know. think I take notes of the father NPCs? from the ten? Father, towns. I lied. Father Christopher. There you go. Uh, dang, Benjamin. I did write it down. I mean, dang, page. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Father, Father Christopher said that I, uh, I begin having permanent um, transformations and. I don't know exactly what she meant that I'm her creation and what exactly she's having me do. I can see where that would be scary. 
I don't know. What if she's... She more means it in a motherly way. You know, she's your mother. And, um... And I try to recall if from the tone of her voice she sounded motherly. Do an insight check. <laughs> Mom? Sorry. Mom? Sorry. Uh, 25. Um, in a way, yes. Um, like, she seemed like she was proud of something that she created in that sense of being motherly um she wasn't like trying to care for you or any like it didn't seem like she was caring for you uh like in a sympathetic way uh yeah yes her her voice felt cold to me not not in an embraceful way Maybe in the sense that she was happy she could create something like me. Whatever that means exactly. But, um... If we could, before going to rest, I... If you could join me in prayer, you, of course, don't have to pray with me necessarily, but... If you could watch over me, in case something does happen... Yes, absolutely. How much a pain? <laughs> Just kidding. I right. I pay in healing. <laughs> that's, a, that's a really good pay. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's fair. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> All right. Uh, so sounds like we want to do a prayer first, unless anybody has anything else they want to do before prayer. We can, we can get into this. Okay, Siegfried, how do you go about this? All right, so Siegfried will sit in a neutral stance, you know, crisscross applesauce, <laughs> um, you know, putting his hands together and initially, again, at first, really concentrating on El Mater and his teachings and words. And he does allow himself to drift off into this meditative state and begin thinking about this voice and trying to figure out where trying to connect to it in a way you know trying to figure out where exactly it is in his conscience or where it is um ethereally all right what do the rest of you do oh well siegfried is doing this um well next to him but I, I wouldn't be sitting down, but I would be following in his prayer just to see if I can catch a glimpse. Okay. Uh, I'll just be like extra on guard, looking for any changes in the wind, any, anything. All right. Um, Benjamin would join as well. Um, not necessarily praying to any deity but more of not no, like <clears throat> not knowing this was exactly uh Siegfried's intention but knowing the like feelings that he's struggling with also reaching out to that like unknown and especially for his sense of like the unknown of the ocean like the deep ocean there's many things in there that are unknown so just like trying to draw in that energy of like contacting and reaching out to the unknown um in this instance all right. Um, I will have Kevhorn and Benjamin and El and uh, Kelborn. You can all do a religion check. Depending on how these do, it will uh, it can help Siegfried. Um, that's a two. But I I wasn't praying. I I was like just yeah, looking yeah. out. But I didn't I didn't yep. know. Okay. Yeah, I rolled a two. <laughs> I got a five. I got a nat 20. Ooh. It's so fitting. Appropriate, appropriate. Yeah. 
I was going to have it if you roll above 15 to that a plus one. But since you got a net 20, I'll allow Siegfried at a plus two to his religion roll. Mm. On top of your, obviously, your religion modifier. Twenty-three. At twenty-three, uh, as you search for this uh, presence, um, and uh, uh, Kevorn, you're right there trying to search for this presence with him. You you aren't sure what he is searching for, but you're trying, like maybe using a little bit of the spores, to, like uh, get some insight on what he's searching for. So you can also search for this. Um, and Siegfried, once again, your senses begin to fill with this aromatic uh, smoke, like incense burning. Um, and Kevhorn, you get this too, but it's like overpowering and your inner sight is almost completely covered in the smoke um, to the point where you can't really see anything. Siegfried, you do see a large feminine figure in the smoke uh she seems to be working on something uh you can see you're like taking vials uh different like crushing different ingredients into these vials and things um uh, and you see her kind of react to your presence uh, and kevhorn you don't hear any of the words that are going to follow but you do hear like mumbles of talking um as you uh siegfried you hear the hear the figure address you my child you found your way to me again yes mother I along with my prayer have reached out to you yet again hoping to secure some more answers you still have not found your purpose Perhaps you could help me with that. Some guidance. Those who you are made to help. One is close to you. An ailment that has no answer. You said that you didn't recognize Ilmater. No, the name is not familiar to me. No gods of my realm share that name. Where exactly are you? And I'm going to cast Locate Creature. Locate <laughs> oh. Creature. <laughs> This is interesting Ooh. because we're bending how the spell works and I like it. I like Give this. me religion is based off intelligence, right? Uh yes. yes. Give me religion using your wisdom modifier and you can add your uh proficiency if you have it with religion. Uh, that is a 10. A 10. Um, I'll say even with a 10, like, obviously she's told you you're in a different realm. This is effectively a different realm somewhere within the greater multiverse. Um, which would make sense that she wouldn't know who Ilmater is because not all the gods that are for, um, uh, the material plane of Faerun are shared across other realms. Um, like, there's some crossover between, like, uh, the Shadow Realm, or Shadow Realm, <laughs> Shadow Fell, uh, the, uh, the Fey Wild, the material plane, yeah. and even some of the outer planes share gods. Uh, but this, she's got to be incredibly far away, um, realm wise, uh, to not know who Ilmater is. And in, it's kind of also reflected in this uh, locate creature because you can't really sense where she is, even though you're technically like you're in a different plane of existence in your mind right now. 
Okay. Um, can I flavor this a little bit more too? Yeah. So as you guys are sitting next to Siegfried, uh, you can hear what sounds like bones breaking and flesh ripping open as his wings unfurl from his back and his eyes begin to pop open and ripping and ripping at the skin. Uh, and you can also see uh, a couple pairs of eyes, two eyes below his normal eyes and then two eyes above his eyes appear as well as he's concentrating on this. And lastly, uh, some wings on the side of his temples also pop open too. Yeah, you see the, in your mind's eye, the figure uh, doesn't really react, uh, but you do hear is, don't strain yourself searching for me. Where I am does not matter. We've fixed this problem here. It's your job to save your realm from this disease. This ill martyr must have found my blood that I had sent into the multiverse and created you from it to save your realm from this disease. What exactly is this disease? It's a flawed creation of my own making that was not meant to get out. And I'm supposed to save this creation? No, save others from it. You bear my ability to cleanse it. You just need to search yourself. This is your purpose. I will try, Mother. And you see, you feel her her um, form retreating from your senses uh, as you return back to where uh, your camp. And Kevorn, your senses are evacuated of this smoke uh, as you also return. Are you right? Six eyes. Sorry, writing notes. Um, <laughs> six eyes. What do you mean? I don't wear glasses. <laughs> Man, I wish I had a mirror. <laughs> do I have a mirror? <laughs> Uh, roll me a d20. If you have, uh, Here's what I do. 15 or higher, you have a mirror. <laughs> Here's what I do. I reach into, uh, I reach into my chest plate, arm, my armor, and I grab, uh, uh, Finx's little acorn flask, and I hey. splash it on my chest, <laughs> and I rub with my sleeve it and shine it, and I, I kind of stand up in front of Siegfried to, like, get the reflection <laughs> Uh, Siegfried will glance at his ref reflection, um, and as soon as he sees it, he recoils and uh, draws the hood of his cloak back up from the one that uh, Benjamin gave us. Oh, you... Um. I'm sorry. Uh, you, you didn't know. I figured you felt that. You knew that was happening. I had no clue. You don't have to hide it from us. Uh, Siegfried will hesitantly pull his hood back down. From you, perhaps not. But I worry how others will perceive me. I totally she said that get. 
She said that I was created and sent here to protect this realm. And more specifically, one of you. Um, apparently one of her other flawed creations is running rampant here. Protect one of us. I look to Kevhorn. <laughs> I look to Errol. <laughs> <laughs> it's you, isn't it? His eyes, you. Closely, his eyes closed sleeping, but still just standing up. <laughs> just muscles flexed. Just <laughs> rawr, rawr, as he's sleeping. <laughs> Did she say what this creation was or what it was doing? Didn't she just say it was uh, a disease? Mm hmm She just said it was some kind of disease and that I am the cure for it. Did she... Did she mean it in the sort of, like, all those... I've heard of... I've heard stories of gods exterminating all of their creations, calling them diseases. You know, it was it more of like a... Uh, what's the right word? Metaphor? Metaphor. For something. Or did she mean like a literal disease? Could I tell from the inflection of her voice? Um... Give me insight. Guys, it can't be me. I am a paladin. I'm immune <laughs> to diseases. <laughs> uh, 24. Yeah, she seemed to mean literal disease. No, she... I think she literally meant disease. Hmm. But she okay. didn't say it was a creation of hers. What's she okay, look like? Who's sick? I I still couldn't get a clear glimpse of her. Uh, I, I'll have you do perception check to see what you can get of her. It wasn't much, but we'll see what you're able to get from her uh, silhouette. With Kevhorn's questions, I will very quickly spores just to him. I'm like, Kelborn's mom is sick. <laughs> <laughs> I know this. <laughs> <laughs> that your mom is sick, yeah. <laughs> No, I know. I'm just... No, like, but oh, that's why I do this. it I just thought you to asked. have horn. <laughs> uh, Since oh. no one else seems to, like, hear the question, Benjamin's just like, yeah, remember, buddy, remember. <laughs> uh, 16, you said? Yep. Um. So, yeah, feminine shape. Uh, she had, like, this large, like, a headdress or a headpiece uh, that was almost like a semicircle and it seemed to have things dangling off of it. Mm -hmm. Um... Uh, like slender arms with long fingernails. You didn't see much to the bottom half, um, but it moved strangely. It wasn't like fully humanoid. Okay. Just want to make sure you want sneaking Neve to also be a goddess. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, not yet. <laughs> we'll get there. <laughs> um, yes, slender woman. Um, I couldn't quite see the bottom half of her, but didn't seem humanoid, at least. She wore a big headdress. Um, you said a semicircle? Yep. And a semicircle and uh, some things dangling off of it as well. She said she's not not of this realm. She, she didn't recognize Ilmater. Who doesn't recognize Ilmater? I mean, before I met you, <laughs> why did I? Shut up! Shut up. <laughs> You're not helping. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, praise be <laughs> to Ilmater. <laughs> if Ilmater doesn't exist in her realm, then it must be exceptionally far removed from ours, then. Yes, I tried to locate her, but I'm afraid I was unable to. How did she create a disease and send it here if she's not from here? 
She must be a very powerful goddess. Um, I will say, Siegfried, it seemed that she didn't mean for it to get out. So it, she probably didn't send it here, but you don't know how it got here. Though I don't believe she had ill intentions. I don't think she meant for it to escape or come here. Interesting. She also seems to be a goddess of both disease and cures since she sent you here to cure the ailment that she created perhaps she was she was working with files interesting I'm assuming there are no goddesses that I would be aware of that would have that um, like domain. Um, I won't even have you roll a religion check. I'm gonna say no because I couldn't find one. That's why I had to go out of, out yep, of that's, this that's what realm I to find one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I appreciate all of you looking over me. I wish I had more answers, but at least I've got some guidance. But I, I will protect all of you. And we'll protect you. We're all looking out for each other here. Ah, I don't, don't want to get my hopes up. No, no, never mind. Speak your mind. I don't know. I Like I told you before, my mother's been sick for a long time and no one's been able to figure out what it is. That's a long shot. It's... I'm sure it's not that. I do not have anyone close to me who is ill. I mean, I don't know. I mean, why would... It doesn't hurt to try. It doesn't seem like it's contagious or anything. It seems insignificant for a goddess. Perhaps, but I would still like to do what I can to help your mom. I appreciate that. I know. I also do not think if a god or goddess has chosen a person to interact with, good or ill, I don't think that would be insignificant in any way. It, we can see what the ill looks like with Miriandra and Kevhorn, we should take this as a blessing that one is looking to fix a wrong that she has committed. True. Do you, do you think the, the liquid that the Fomorians were cultivating? That makes more sense. I don't know. I'm just a fisherman. <laughs> <sighs> it feels um, like every time we try to get answers, we just get more questions. No, uh, that's... It's, uh... I haven't checked in with the wizard... Um, so maybe they made progress on that front? I could send, uh... Do I have send message? Why did I think I could contact them? Did they, like, slurp our either. spores? I think Orlin <laughs> no. has sending. 
<laughs> yeah, I think oh, you told I... them to send us a message ah, whenever. Orlin has to message, has to send. I'm us. sure any day now, any <laughs> moment, <laughs> he'll be sending us a message. <laughs> it's a message you up. <laughs> <laughs> you up, winky face. <laughs> 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 uh, anything anybody else wants to do before we do watches watches will be nothing big just if people want to do individual things so we'll have uh, we'll have some attuning uh, but I just want to make sure I get group things out of the way first yeah I got some time to do so and one more I can do it during watch if like if we do okay. no we don't do watch with other people right we don't do like you can groups. if you want to you only need well, for, like, kind of a sleep. I think you only need three watches technically. Um, you're all half elves, so you need sleep. Yeah, <laughs> um, all of us need to sleep. We don't sleep as long though, or some shit. I, I think don't you know. Need, like, no, three people. Sleep. Three people doing four hours each. I think it's fine. Uh, if you wanted to take watches with somebody, you can. Yep. Uh, on my watch, I wait. I'll wake up, Benjamin. Hmm. <sighs> Okay, I think we'll do the tuning first, okay, um, yeah, yeah. just because it's its own thing. And I think uh, Kevorn wants to get to that. Uh, so, uh, Kevorn, give me an Arcana while you're tuning. This won't determine if you can attune or not, just how much you are aware of as it's happening. I ain't aware of shit. <laughs> Six. Six? Yeah, you ain't aware of shit. <laughs> um... Uh, but you do take some time with this thing. Is there anything particular you're focusing on while you're trying to attune to it or just uh, or anything you're doing with it? Um, I will say I will be distracted. Summoning and resummoning my clones to see if there's a new addition. <laughs> just cycling through to see if you get a the random the rng of a new one <laughs> um you do have one new one uh you can tell that it's like its torso has been crushed um like it's, as opposed to like the one that was crushed by boulders it seems like there was blood for like constriction crushing uh to its body uh that broke a lot of the rib gauge but otherwise, all the other horrifying visages of your dead self. Hmm. Just realized. There's three different iconographies on my person. Yeah. Gotta catch them all. <laughs> um, um have any of kevhorn's entities entities why did i call them that shadows <laughs> whatever the hell um echoes echoes there's the word uh have any of them ever looked like sickly no you haven't seen any okay. sickly ones oh good kevhorn you don't die of the disease whatever that is <laughs> i'm most likely dying battle <laughs> <laughs> um but uh, within an hour of uh, attuning yourself to this trident, um, you would know. I don't have the block, the little statue for you yet. I'll have it for you before next time, though. Uh, but you do know, much like your own trident, uh, it is a. Uh, if you throw it, it'll come back to you at the end of your turn. Um, this is a plus two weapon, so it's trident plus two. Mm -hmm. Um, also, when you throw it, uh, if it connects, it then creates an explosion that with in a five foot radius, uh, it target or everything within a five foot radius takes one uh, D six thunder damage. Your movement speed is increased by five feet. I recognize this item. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second. Larian uh, has words for you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> no no i changed the name and some things <laughs> um, <laughs> and by that i took some things away from it um 
So yeah, increase your movement speed by five feet. Plus two. Explosion of thunder damage. And it hits and it comes back to your hand at the end of your turn. Now when you have two attacks, you can actually throw two things. <laughs> <laughs> throw one trident, throw the other trident. Dual wheel trident. <laughs> that seems complicated. Well, you just have the one throw it and throw the next one because you have a shield in the other hand already, so. Oh, yeah. Got to get your big ass quiver. <laughs> oh, I forgot to also say you also uh, can don't have to breathe underwater. And you have a swim speed of 30 feet. Mm. I could go for a dip. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, that's actually <laughs> irrelevant for you, huh? <laughs> I'll give you I'll give you the stat block for it. And then you okay. or I'll attempt to make it in D&D Beyond. Probably not, though, because we don't actually have a campaign together. Wait, did you say he doesn't have to breathe underwater? Yeah, essentially you can breathe underwater. Oh, you don't have to worry about being drowned anymore. Yeah, just in prison against my will. <laughs> Forever and ever. <laughs> <laughs> but no drowning. At that point, I wish I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anything else you want to do on your watch, Kevorn? Uh, 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 no, I'm good. No, all right. <laughs> uh, we can go to Benjamin and Kelboy. Oh, did you oh. want me to roll perception for anything or no? I don't think so. Are you trying to perceive something? Oh, go for a watch. For a watch. No, no, no. That's fine. Okay. okay. Yep, Kelboy and Benjamin, you can have your watch. Yeah. <sighs> Sorry to wake you, Benjamin. Um, uh, uh, no, no worries. You know, I just had some ideas brewing in my head, and I thought, I won't be able to sleep after my watch if I don't, you know, get them out. So, uh, you can go back to sleep after this, but... Um, <laughs> so, the venue, I mean, right on the water, it could be a good spot for a wedding. Uh, chapel mm -hmm. right on the water, open to the sea breeze... Mm -hmm. Um, the only thing is I do know there was a few murders there, so perhaps you can give us a bit of a discount on that, on the rate of the venue. <laughs> uh, but I think, I mean, it could be a good spot. Uh, certainly. Um, it feels like Luskin is pretty far away from most of your family though isn't it um i mean that's true sure it is um it's closer to my ma though technically i mean yes it's um i certainly have a certain amount of sway at the temple now um It's just an idea. I just, I want. Yes, yes, of course, of course. I have to, you know, I'll, I'll put together this whole booklet when I get back to the Fae. Kind of go through it. Yes. You know, it's every Fae boy's dream, their wedding night. <laughs> so. I think it's very sweet how much you are, how much thought you're putting into this. Uh Thank you. Ma, I used to be, uh, my ma used to call me a sweet boy, so I guess that's, <laughs> uh, that's where it comes from. Um, yeah, um, I mean, the cracking body will be dealt with by then, right? Uh, yes, in one way or another, if nothing else, probably by the time we finish this up, it will have rotted enough to wash away on its own. Okay. The ocean's pretty good about cleaning up its own messes. You don't think, like, Miriandra would interfere? <laughs> I have no idea. Okay. 
You know what? We'll put that in the maybe pile. That was... I... Go ahead, please. No, I, I, I just wanted to spitball and see what you're thinking about it. So, I mean, you sound on board. But yeah, that sounds good. Yes. At eight. That's good chat. Indeed. Anything else? Um... Yeah, if we're at the vault, uh, the Cloud Giant vault, I mean, well, she's a princess and all, so she has a lot of things already. So it, it might be a good chance to find us our our wedding gift uh, while we're there. <laughs> if you just keep, you know, just just trying to save you some money, and it could be some good stuff there. I, if at all possible, I plan on robbing these cloud giants blind. Three. So. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, that's it. I <laughs> 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 uh, just am stupid. <laughs> um... Did Benjamin or Siegfried want to do do a watch and do something solo or with one other person? Um, I had something Benjamin would want to do on his watch. Okay. Yeah. What would you like to? Um, I would have left the large basin at the temple with all of them. Um, but like I've done in the past, taking out like a small bowl with uh, seawater. And again, trying to commune to a degree with Miriandra. Um, I don't think he's necessarily looking for like a full conversation, um, but just kind of in the moment, um, focusing on it and saying, is my part of that bargain complete now? You feel a um, positive reinforcements out the word I want to use, but it's the only thing I can think of right now, but yes. You feel that your bargain has been satisfied. Good. I think... I think your flock in Luskin will be growing. Maybe you should keep an eye on the dragon turtles. All right. Siegfried? Yeah, uh, Siegfried just throughout the night uh first off is going to inspect himself to see if those things had disappeared again uh the wings near his temples and extra eyes and the wings on his back um i'll leave that to you hmm. okay um so the eyes are still there as well as the uh, wings on the side of his temples. All right. And, do the big, uh, the larger wings, do they stay? Those go back in. Those disappear. Okay. Um, and throughout the night, he uh, spent some time with Smirk Mail, uh, the griffin, and just kind of petting it as it sleeps and maybe sits up next to it and just gazes up at the stars waiting for his Mufasa moment with Omater. <laughs> that's how he spends his night. All right. No clouds forming into dead fathers or anything. Um, but yeah, peaceful night. Uh, Griffin uh, snoring lightly. Uh, Erol not snoring so lightly. <laughs> Can just stand in and just... <laughs> as it sleeps. Um... And the night passes and morning comes. You're all alive. We're alive. <laughs> great, 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 great. Long rest. Oh, yes. Uh, yes, long rest for those of you battered and bruised and spellless. Uh, you have some breakfast. Mount up upon your griffins once again and take flight. Start heading in the same direction uh, that you last saw uh, the Cloud Giant's castle 
Um, uh, 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 Kelborn, give me another survival check with advantage, please. Ooh, not as great. There wasn't that one in there, but with advantage, um, we are looking at a 16. 16, yeah. Is it, you keep on on the track of the general location uh, that you want to be in uh, to find this. And you kind of get to that area um, where you last saw it. Um, we should be approaching the last known location soon. Um, what is our plan for us to not be seen if we're planning on sneak a sneak? Um, I was going to ask a similar question. Um, do we think we'll be able to fully sneak into the castle or do we want to get in with more normal means and then sneak off to the vault? Oh. Hmm. I say we fully try to sneak in. Oh. Well, I was gonna. I was gonna say. I guess suppose there's more intelligence to be had if we talk to them first. I mean, what if they're not really aligned with anyone, just kind of floating around, and then like they hate us because we sneaking around and get caught. Um, yes, I mean, that is what I was leaning towards as well, at least to get an idea of where their allegiances may lie. Um, Ooh. um what if one of us is sneaky and the rest do the talky talk or you send, um, your bat crab, uh, Huey, Huey to scout while he's invisible I thought that could be an option um I <laughs> um I obviously am okay with being the one speaking to them and trying to gain um, intelligence from them I don't have anything in particular that um, besides Huey that would allow me to sneak any better um but I can certainly be the one to try to distract some of them at least. I don't know if they'll find a human, a novel experience. Humanoid. I agree, I, I for one am not very stealthy. So. <clears throat> um, I don't think any of us are stealthy. If, if I was, to give a score to it, it would be a plus five. <coughs> um, how how do you think they would react to this, though? And just points <laughs> at his face. Oh, that's um, probably normal for them. I don't know. Also, I should I should add that these eyes, uh, these extra eyes, are glowing. Uh, when you see him, you know, normally transform in glowing yellow, almost like the sun. These ones are glowing, uh, but his normal um, pupils or irises, pupils irises, uh, are normal right now. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Um, are you able to shut those eyes? Just like you know how, like, yeah, you can shut your main eyes like that. But can you just shut those ones? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Siegfried tries to shut them, uh, and he cannot. Ah, oh, darn. Because then it would just yeah. maybe look like he had dimples there or something. I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't feel fully in control of all of this yet. If I assumed that if I were, I could make them disappear. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> I pull a cloth out of my out of my bag, and I tie it around his main eyes. 
Um, can you still see? I don't know. Baka, can I still see? Give me... We'll do a perception check. eyes would be pretty handy. <laughs> perception check. You said perception? Yep. Um, that is a 13. 13. It see, like, you kind of get blurry vision out of them. Um, like, you can see shapes, but it's not great. Like, they seem to be able to sense things, um, but it's not as good as your main vision. I I can't really see. It kind of reminds me when I when I do transform and everything's a little blurry. Okay. No, that's fine. I was thinking cover your main eyes and it just looks like It just looks like you got kicked in the face by a horse when you were young. <laughs> <laughs> um <Thanks>. but <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> but um, <laughs> um <laughs> Instead, um, I'll just, I'll nick myself with, like, my dagger. So, oh, man, I rolled good on the damage. (laughs) (laughs) Um, and I'll bleed on the rag. (laughs) And, well, I've untied it from your face first. And then I'll put that, with the blood, I'll put it over your second eyes. And I'll say, now what? We can just say that you got a nasty gash on your nose and you bandaged it up. I do have a hood. I could just pull my hood over. Oh. Uh, we have masks. We <laughs> bought masks. Yeah, but masks look sketchy and hoods look... I don't know. It's just you were in a, a bit of a scrap or maybe you just fell down the stairs. It's, it's scratch your nose. I didn't. The monks, I didn't cut my hand for nothing. <laughs> I mean, you really just went all in on that without kind of because you didn't have to bleed on it. You could still say you got injured without um, actually bleeding. But now it's rag. more believable. It holds up to scrutiny. But what if? What if you have the disease and now? Oh shit! You're gonna give me the disease. <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh, I, I don't, I don't think I got the disease. Um, when I said we were blood. I, I didn't mean this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my, my mother, she, uh, she got real lethargic real quick, and um, I don't, I don't think I have any of those signs. So, I think we're in the clear on that one. Okay. Well. You wear whatever makes you the, feel the most comfortable, Siegfried. I mean, that's... That is with a hood, without a hood, mask, no mask, whatever makes you feel the most comfortable. Or just goes eyes out. I mean, honestly, I think that they might appreciate it. Well, this might be a bad time to test it, but we'll see how others react to it. And I'll keep us at them. Yeah. All right. Take the rag back and tie it around my injured hand. <laughs> Profusely bleeding hand. <laughs> All right, so you're just you're just rocking up to the. I mean, you you know you're in the area. You don't see it currently. Right. No, did we decide? Is that anyone sneaking? Are we talking? Are we all sneaking? Because I know Kev Horn wanted to sneak, and I will totally do all of us sneaking too. I don't really care. I'm down for that too. Um, I am just worried if we are caught, then we. I mean, I think if we're caught either way, we're um, <laughs> not in a great position. Um, so we should just be ready to escape very quickly if need be. I'm just not stealthy, but I will roll with whatever. <clears throat> I'm not either. I feel I don't like have any disadvantage on stealth. I'm just not good at it. <laughs> I feel like I remember a plan where we got the dragon, befriended it, and had it make a distraction. 
Um, that was also with promising the dragon that we were going to give it everything inside of there. But we want everything. <laughs> <laughs> Whereas now potentially we can rob them blind and then go to the dragon and be like, hey, we have all of Ooh. this stuff. Do you want to help us? Oh, but I'm sure that the giant vault has like tons of stuff, probably big things. We should have got like a bag of holding. I don't I feel like we didn't think this through. No, we're fine <laughs> as I whip out the axe. We can just teleport to it, right? Make an anchor point, close the vault, leave, and then keep coming back. You mean... We don't fully know if the axe works like that. Time to try it out. <laughs> Um, we also, if we are in the area, um, we could stop in Silvery Moon to see if they either have potentially a bag of holding, though I don't have any money to buy that type of stuff, um, or if they have any reports of the giants being spotted nearby. Or if any of the other settlements, if there's one closer. They may not have items, but... I've heard they make really good pies. Moon pies. Oh, that sounds good. Um, I've never been to Silvery Moon before in a campaign, so. <laughs> I also don't know if Paka knows anything about Silvery Moon. <laughs> I just had it up and then it sounded like you guys weren't going to go anymore, so I closed it. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we'll see how the locals react to me. Uh, how about let's all go in separately. <laughs> so we so we want to make a pit stop, Silvery Moon, see if they have a bag of holding and any sightings of the castle. And moon pies. And moon pies. Pies. What is a pie? What's in a moon? I have no idea. <laughs> Protein? I had one like last week. Are those the same <laughs> thing? I feel like I've heard of moon pies before. Are they the same thing as um, circle back me? Um, <laughs> whoopie pies. Yeah, so, are those the same thing as this whoopie pies? I think they're similar. Okay. Yeah. I've had whoopie pies. Those are good. Oh. The fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, macaroons! <laughs> oh, we oui, we oui. we're in France. Um, for full transparency, I do not have much uh, coin. I was left thinking for of cake. Um, a bag of holding. I have two hundred and eighty gold, which I know that's that's probably only like a quarter. Of the costs. I is it? That's just my guess. I have no idea. How much does I a have bag of holding cost? Um, a lot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like four thousand gold. Oh, that's less than a quarter of the cost. Well, let me see. But oh, never mind. That's somebody else suggests that much. It's it's more than a hundred. <laughs> <laughs> You'd have to see. Depends on the vendor. In the realm I, of hundreds of gold. Yeah, I have two hundred and eighty. What's everybody else have? I have two hundred and thirty-six gold. Okay, that's like five hundred. I have three fifty. I have 11. 861. Uh, 861. Roughly. I don't know. I can't do now. Everybody give me Arcana checks quick. We all got. We all get smited. Natural 20. <laughs> um, Benjamin, you would know that the bag of holding, while it can hold a lot, it's getting it into the bag of holding that's the harder thing. Mm -hmm. um, it has to be. 
it, the opening of the bag of holding is only two foot in diameter. Um, and it can only hold up to like 500 pounds. Oh. Um, we could experiment with the axe. I mean, worst case scenario with the bag of holding, though, we just steal all the gold in the smaller stuff and then sell it. And then that way, at least, well, yeah, at least that way we have money for buying things that might help. But what if we get four bags, find a hag, sew them together? <laughs> Why do we need to find a hag? I don't know. It seemed like the hag thing to do. Hag in the bag. Oh, you heard the child's rhyme, hag in the bag. <laughs> I see. Okay. But I'll also say on a 20 arcana from Benjamin, a lot of magical items upon attunement resize. Mm -hmm. We just have to either spend the time attuning to them or get them out in their current form. Or like Kev Horn said, I mean, the axe might do the trick. I don't know, Kev Horn, do you want to try it? I am worried about the timing of the axe. We just like, it's very useful, but I worry that even on a quick jaunt that several days will pass here and that's, we are already seemingly on a time crunch. That's true as well. And Kev Horn, what if, what if you cut into the Fae a few day passes before you end up back on this side and the castle's moved but the portal back is still hundreds of feet in the air and you fall to your death but it like it didn't move with the castle it just stayed where the castle was but the castle's moved well if I scratch the portal into the wall can you do that well, we, we all traveled together. Couldn't the griffin just travel with him, too? Potentially. Theoretically. You gave me a, a, a TP axe. I'm going to experiment <laughs> with it. <laughs> That's fair. By then, taking an account of the fucking time difference. Uh, Kephorn, I'll give you 280 gold for the axe, by the way. It would be nice to be able to go home. <laughs> <laughs> it would be nice to be able to go home whenever I wanted. I'm kind of really upset that you have the axe and I don't. <laughs> you know, see my wife to be. <laughs> oh he's my like, god. Just hits Kelbor and he's like, this is kind of fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just assumed at some point he'd give it to me, but he still hasn't. You you expressed no want except for that. I gave you faces. <laughs> You're just not very good at reading them. Brother Actually my insight is plus three. Oh. <laughs> I give him the axe. Thank you. Here, visit your wife. <laughs> To be. <laughs> um, yes. Should we head into the city, though, to see if we can get a bag? Um, perhaps. I mean, it would be useful to have anyways, um, but then to increase our treasure storage. Um, if we can spend enough time to attune to items, we may be able to get out more in that sense to resize them to our use. Does the axe require attunement? Sorry to interrupt. No. No. Oh, okay, because I was going to say, just leave it with Kev Horn, because, you know. But nope. It's mine now. <laughs> <laughs> and right. to potentially get information. Yeah, let's go make that stop. All right. Start flying your griffins down to Silvery Moon. Uh, you see, once again, a splitty, a splitty, a city split in two uh, by a river, a northern and a southern half. Uh, you do see there is a large tree uh, in the city as well. Um, and it looks very much like 
an elven city, like older elven cities, where a lot of things are like in trees, um, that kind of stuff. I feel like I'm about to be called poor. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we're all a bunch of, uh, well, never mind, we're half elves. Do you think that that'll be frowned upon here? Are they racist? I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know much about Silvery Moon. I don't know either, but um, we have to start somewhere. I'll start asking around about the giants. If you all want to go shopping for the bag and any other things you may need, we'll secure the bag. Just in case, Benjamin, give us your 11 gold. <laughs> what if he uh, needs to it's, eat? It's, all right, you keep two two gold for your, for your dinner. <laughs> sure, I'll give you nine of my gold. <laughs> we're going to get there and they'll be like, oh, we're too short for the bag of holding. Damn it. <laughs> all right. Uh, you land inside the city, outside the city? Outside the city. Outside the city. Get to the wall. Get in. It's like, it's not, it's not like a Brinchander where they asked you about what you were doing there before you came in. You were just able to come in. Oh, you do see, though, it looks very architecturally, arc, your arc? Architecturally? I can't say that word. Um, architecturally. Uh, like, uh, an older elven city, it does... It's like this place space is filled with all different kinds of peoples, uh, humans, elves, half elves, okay. half orcs. You see an occasional drow, uh, goblins. There's there's all kinds of different folk here. Mm -hmm. Um, and if you ask, uh, they point to the marketplace is in the northern half of the city, kind of in the center, separating. Uh, the north into an east and west side. A uh, very large marketplace. So you, uh, three of you can head there if Benjamin is looking to do other things. Um, right. While they're walking there, can I see how people react to me? Yeah, give me, uh, give me insight. That's not it. Ten. <laughs> Ten? Um... Yeah, you see people kind of look at you, but they're not staring or anything. You can't really tell what they're thinking about you, but you do see people look at you every once in a while. Or not every once in a while, pretty often, but not, they don't linger. All right. Uh, so the three of you go into the marketplace. What would you like to do? We'll search for first. Bag of holding. Bag, Bag. of holding. Um, you do see, uh, like this older gentleman with a long gray beard, uh, wearing like a, a conical hat that kind of like sloops forward at the top, uh, wearing purple robes with sun, like crescent moons and stars on them. Wow. Silver. Oh, uh, welcome. What, what kind of magical needs uh, are you interested in today? Bag. Bag? <laughs> What kind of bag? I got bag of devouring. I got bag of full of mustard. I've got bag of what do you want? Mustard? What? Yeah, what? bag full of mustard. <laughs> bag holding. of holding. Oh, bag of holding. That's everybody wants one of those. All right. Um, uh, somebody uh, roll me a d6 and then a percentile, like just just the one with two numbers on it. The d10 with two I'll numbers on it. I'll roll the percentile if somebody wants to do uh, the other right. thing. The D6. I guess I'll roll the D6, unless you want to, barely. It's all you. I got an 83. I've been rolling enough tonight. Uh, so you got an 80 on the big one. Or, yeah, an 80. Oh, I thought you were asking for the full percentile, sorry. Uh, yep, no, just the, just the one. Yeah. One. Uh, 180 gold for that. Wait, that's it? Yeah. Oh. Uh, two? We, we you want two? Him, we got him on, we, we got him on, uh, uh, conveyor belt in the back. 
Uh, Hello? You... <laughs> what are they called? What what did Henry Ford make? <laughs> he made the car, sir. The thing, the, but he made the thing that makes the cars. I don't production know. Production line. Yeah, sure. Production we line. We have a production line. line in the best assembly, assembly line. line. Yeah. Okay. Um, we... can we inspect them first? Because we might want yeah. two. You want two? Oh, you know, we, we're, we're running a deal today. You buy two bags of hole and you get a bag of mustard for free. Uh, That's, mm -hmm. you know what? That sounds good. Do you have any, do you have any whipped cream? No, for no. Now. Everybody <laughs> bought all the bags of whipped cream already. Darn. They seem to be out of it everywhere. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a commodity. Yeah. Thank um, God. Anyway. Oh, sorry, single water. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I want to inspect these bags. <laughs> yeah, he holds up a bag, holds it open for you. You stick your hand inside. Okay. I want to see if they've stick. been used before. <laughs> you stick your hand inside and it like goes all the way in. You don't feel the bottom. I'm going to stick my head in there. You stick your head in there. Uh, you can't breathe. <laughs> Do um, I see anything? And though? you don't see a bottom. <laughs> no. <laughs> don't see Hello! anything bad. Oh! <laughs> I'll pull my head out. Sorry, how much was it again? 180. 180. For one. How much did, uh. Cal have? <laughs> I have, uh. I have 280. Uh oh, did I freeze? No, you're good. No, Everybody's no. just very oh. quiet and oh. still. <laughs> Dude, every like Ye I just freaked out for a second. I mean, with with Sieg's gold, we could get one for each of us. You want to do <laughs> one for each of us? Is that a little overkill? We need to save some money, right? We're gonna get more with the. Uh... That's. I, I, I look. I look over at the wizard and I spores <laughs> <laughs> yeah. from the vault. What That's... are you saying to each other? You hear in your head. Oh no, I just oh, find him oh, very oh. handsome. I'm looking into his eyes. Uh, uh I was just worried. Uh we were talking about um Well I've heard Tax returns. Uh, where I'm from. Oh you got your tax returns right. <laughs> <laughs> Where I'm from, uh there's there's been stories of these bags uh having creatures inside of them. Oh, uh, so I've been a little worried about that. Oh, past campaigns giving you trauma. Are Do they? these have any? Um, is there any warranty on these? Warranty. Or like a return That's gonna policy. be an additional eighty gold. <laughs> <laughs> you can buy insurance on them for two hundred gold each. And what does <laughs> that? What does that cover? Like, is that loss of? You know, um. If you if if you uh, <laughs> explode the bag, then you can get a new one. Just one though. Yeah, one per one you explode. Oh, okay. Well, because you know, usually when you. Never mind. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've done it before. <laughs> You've done it. Before. <laughs> How was it? I've always heard about it, but I've never done you know, it. No, kind of underwhelming uh, than compared to what you think. Okay. Um. Let me check the other pack. Okay. Put my head in it. <laughs> You're fine. Yeah. No, I don't see same anything. As, same as the one before. I don't see anything. I reach inside. I take my head out and then I reach inside and I think about a monster. <laughs> I have like a, a vague monster. And I okay. see if I can pull it out. Uh, roll me a d20. Let me know if you find a pet in there. I still Four. <laughs> Four. You don't get anything. I try to pull out a cat from the bag. Uh, roll me a d20. A two? A two. No, fresh uh, out of pets. You pull, <laughs> like you pull a mouse out. Oh, a mouse, though. Oh. Here you go. Sigfried will take it. Is it dead? <laughs> yeah. No, it's alive. Oh, it must have just walked mouse. in there. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, we've had a mouse problem lately. Uh, back to the other bag. I think about another monster. Like, uh, this time I think about a... <laughs> like a what human with a, a very large <laughs> mouth. <laughs> Chris has trauma from from <laughs> uh, like a humanoid sort of creature, but like the jaw unhinges and opens very large and has sharp claws. Okay, roll me a d twenty. 
A 19. <laughs> a 19. <laughs> you uh, grab your fist around and pull out. Uh, it's just like a guy. <laughs> hey! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, sir. <laughs> there seems to be <laughs> something wrong with your merchandise. Oh, I, I have never seen this man before in my life. <laughs> are you okay, sir? Yeah. You know, there's no uh, air in there. How are you alive? Yeah, I don't know. I was just on my coffee break and now I'm here. You work here? No. Okay, we'll get lost. <laughs> I work at a vague IT company. <laughs> <laughs> you should... You should probably get back there. They're probably uh, missing you. Okay, yeah, I only have 15 minutes and I was at 13, so. <laughs> okay, Um. yeah, we'll take the bags. All right. Uh, Can we take different ones? I don't want a bag that had a man in it. <laughs> no, I, I've cleared them now, so they're, we're probably okay. <laughs> we don't know what he did in there. <laughs> uh, so it's it's 360 for the two and then a free bag of mustard. <laughs> Oh my god, okay. Um, I can drop 280. Wait, if you're dropping 280, how much do I need to drop? Uh, 120. 120? Okay, but I, I'll drop the 100. But I Wait, keep... no, that's that's not correct. Sorry. Uh, I don't know. 80. Math? I didn't 80. major in math at wizard school. 80. 180, okay. But I keep just 80. Nine just gold. 80. Just oh, 80. just 80. Oh, okay. Okay. You <laughs> keep measurements nine gold? Yeah. <laughs> That's his contribution. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's two bags. Use your bag of mustard. Be on your way. It's great. It's like the first thing that can go in the bag. All right. Why? <laughs> I it's gonna like, you're gonna you forget about it. It's gonna expire. <laughs> it's gonna stink. Oh no, it's vacuum you're sealed. You're gonna get more rats. <laughs> <laughs> this is a mouse, not a rat. <laughs> You're gonna get more mouse, me, me, mice. Who wants to hold on to the second Moose? bag? <clears throat> I'll hold on to it. Ready? There we go. All right. You two have a bag of holding. Is there anything else you guys want to buy while you're here? I'm poor. All right. Uh, no, never mind. I'm too broke for that. All right. Say, Fred, you too broke too. Siegfried has money, but I have nothing to buy. Uh, you don't have to buy anything if you don't want to. Hmm. <laughs> Siegfried is going to look for a um a circlet. Circlet? Any specific kind of circlet? A circlet of concentration. Circuit of concentration. You, you are after this thing. I mean, it would just would be really cool to concentrate two different spells. I know, I know. <clears throat> I can't spell concentration because I suck. Back of uh, come on. Oh, what is, what's happening? Things are deleting that I don't want to delete. All right, there. Rat droppings. Uh, rat droppings. <laughs> I'm adding items to my bag of holding. <laughs> Is that an official D and D item? Um, I lied. I do want to buy it. I do want to buy some. Sir, what? Of course. I don't think it is. Okay. I mean, it doesn't mean we can't do it. I'm just trying to find a source for it. Uh. uh, 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 uh. uh... Okay. Cool. Um, yeah, you see, uh, like, uh, somebody who uh, it's like a merchant who has a bunch of different kinds of enchanted circlets, um, uh, older bald man. It's, oh, uh, what kind of circlets are you? How much, how, what, what kind of circle are you looking for? Um, do you have one that can help me concentrate on, uh, more spells at one time? Oh, yes, yes, you're looking for this here. Circlet of concentration. Uh, how much? How, uh, 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 yes. One gold. One gold, that's <laughs> too low. Uh, how about, how about, uh, you know what? I need to make up the rarity of this thing. Um, hmm. 
I can start you at a thousand. Can I get a thousand for it? Siegfried turns around and walks back. <laughs> I can spell no your name. For <laughs> no haggling for Siegfried. All right. Uh, Kevor, did you have some? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Kevor's looking around, but he hasn't answered me yet. Oh, He's thinking. Oh. I wasn't sure if you said Kelborn. Um, no, no, no. I wish Benjamin was here. <laughs> if I give you, I'm I I went with a uh, seek. Yeah, you can be with him. And I'm talking to the merchant that he just talked to. Mm -hmm. If I give you. <laughs> This very special trident, not the one that I attuned to, this very special trident. <laughs> How much would you drop that price for that circle? Well, that just looks like an old fisherman's trident. What's so special about it? It's loyal. <laughs> loyal? How so? Is it crowded in here? Yeah, it's pretty busy. Like it's not—it's an outside marketplace. Um. No matter how far you throw it, it'll always come back. All right, show me. It's oh, a little too... my leg! <laughs> it's um. Uh. You want to give me a, a safe space to throw this? Yeah, here, throw it at the back wall of my booth here. Okay, I do. <laughs> oh, very, very clever, very clever. Uh, that's all I can do. It's also... Hold on, I'm thinking of that. I'm thinking of a name. I'm thinking it's magical. Of... Hold on, hold on, hold on. What's, what's, that, God, what's that God's name? Fuck oh God. <laughs> uh, fuck you. Yeah. It, it's also the trident of Valkyr. Give me a deception. That's why I wish Benjamin was here. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Come on. Sixteen. Sixteen. Oh, Valkyria say. Well, you know what? I'd knock off a clean 100 gold from that. Come on. It's Valkyr. Yeah, How about... I could, I could turn around and sell it for maybe 200 gold if I'm lucky. What about this? Did ring? I... Oh. <laughs> uh, Siegfried pulls out one of the rings from his pocket. Uh, this is the Ring of Wrath of Nature. Ooh. Um, give me a persuasion. It's so shiny. It's so cool. Can you get advantage? <laughs> Damn. Are you uh, in? 16. 16? Hmm. The trident in the ring. I'll take off 400 for the two of them. Got me down to 600. How much money do you have, Zip? I only have 236 gold, I'm afraid. Oof. Oof. What if... What if I threw in... Just a snort of pixie dust? <laughs> what? <laughs> give, me a, give me a persuasion. <laughs> just, just a hit. It'll get you good. Um... <laughs> 20. A 20? Snort of pixie dust trident in a ring, 400 gold. Like down to 400. Oh, down, down to 400 gold. gold. Okay. So 600 total. 600 minus from the thousand to be 400 gold buying the circlet. Um, how much money do you have against you? 236 gold. <laughs> 236, I'll give you 70. 
point if we throw in so, a bag of yeah, holding? <laughs> How about a bag of mustard? You look like a mustard type of guy. <laughs> you like mustard? This, this one's pretty fresh. You mean that bag of holding you just bought from that man over there? <laughs> what was that I man's have name? Authority. He's only selling them for 180 gold. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> what 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 about this stone? And Siegfried places the stone of stone skin. Oh, what does it do? Um, well, it turns your flesh as hard as stone. Give me a persuasion. Two. <laughs> um, I can bring it down to 350 gold with all of those. So, have you ever been to the Fee World? <laughs> Can't say I have. What are you doing April 1st of next year? <laughs> <laughs> well, April isn't a thing in this <laughs> in this world, so I couldn't tell you. Aprileth, whatever. <laughs> April, <laughs> whatever it's called <laughs> in this Probably world. Probably working at my store. Well, what if I gave you the opportunity to go to a royal fey wedding with a plus one? Are you being truthful or are you trying to lie about this? I am lying. I don't <laughs> I know this do man. <laughs> You're not I inviting my April, wedding peasant. April 1st gave it away. <laughs> uh, okay, so that is... Did you say with disadvantage? No, just deception. Oh, okay. And that's really good. Um, that is going to be a 23. A 23. Ooh, an invitation to a fey wedding, you say? That's me. Uh, all those items and an invitation? I'm going to bring it down to 290. I'm sorry, I keep forgetting. How much gold do you have? <laughs> 236. 236 is 280? To buy? 290. 290 to buy. I can give you the 60 gold. <laughs> are, are you sure? Yeah. All right. We got a deal. <laughs> <Shit>. <laughs> all right. Get rid of all your items. I think we get rid of all your gold and get, uh, get rid of your 60. I think see. <laughs> Gonna need just a, what? Just a wee little huff of your of your dust you hear a, and it like blows up into your face <laughs> <laughs> um, can i get dust from things yeah you, you like scrape it off your okay. face and get it done. we worked hard for <laughs> you like pour it into his hand um i cheated <laughs> uh i don't i so I'll give you everything, how the circle will work in between sessions, uh, since it is kind of homebrew one. Um, I'm mostly taken from what I see here, but I'll, I'm going to fix it up a little bit. But yes, you will effectively be able to concentrate on two spells. There'll just be some ways on how you have to do that with that thing. <laughs> All right. Any other nonsense you want to pull in the marketplace? <laughs> nope. All right. Uh, Benjamin, you're looking for information. Um, yes, I'd be going to different um, like bars and taverns to try and see just if anyone has spotted it, because it should be like a fairly obvious thing. Like if people have seen it, I'm assuming it has made uh, waves um, either with people believing or uh, being nervous about it. <clears throat> All right. Um first thing you'll notice just being around it a lot of spellcasters here seems to be a very arcane focused city um and then also just give me a charisma check just to see like what kind of information you can get from people and all of that nonsense um if it is just straight charisma that will be mm -hmm. a 14 not my best uh roll yeah, the 14. <clears throat> um, you get, uh, remind me of all the information you wanted to look for. 
Um, basically, if people have seen giants and then like the general direction that they have last seen them. Yeah, um, you talk to a few people, you get a lot of information that there has been spottings of cloud giants to the northeast, uh, kind of in the the pocket of the three mountain ranges that are just the northeast of the silver moon of silver moon. Um, and you also know that they've been seeing a lot of giant beasts in that area as well. Uh, giant rams, giant sheep, giant blue uh, uh, oxen. Okay. Great. Um, cool, 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 cool. Yeah. Um, perfect. I'll then, like, after kind of gathering that information, then send a spores message to everyone. Um, did you get the bag? With a side of mustard. We got two. Did... Oh, oh. How expensive were the bags? 180. So... 180 a pop. Are we. Are they real? Yeah, I stuck my head in them. That doesn't seem like the best way to test it, but good, good. I mean, great, I guess. Yeah. I pulled a rat out of one and a man out of another. Um, um, okay. I don't know what that is. <laughs> it was a mouse. <laughs> oh, good point. That's concerning, I feel like, on a, a couple of different levels. Um, <laughs> great. Yeah, I have a potential location of the giants or at least a direction to head in where they've been seen in their livestock as well so fantastic great I still can't get out of my every pull of man out of one of those bags <laughs> just okay just a guy um, then we meet back up yeah me back up. Um, <laughs> get on your get on your griffins. You can start heading in the direction that Benjamin got the information. You are all flying towards the space where you uh, where Benjamin was told that there were sightings of cloud giants as well as their their stock, their livestock. Um, and it's not too long that give me perception checks. I would also like Huey kind of scouting ahead for us. Okay. Um, I had an epiphany. Okay. It's a 17 for the procession. Uh, so this cat, this calf horn only not need to breathe in water or does he just not need to breathe anymore? It, it, it's a water specific. She can breathe underwater, is what I should have said. We just put said. him in the bag of holding forever. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, I mean, think of it. We put you in the bag of holding, have Huey fly in, and you're you're fine the whole time. What but. if you put water in the bag? <laughs> Too true. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on. We got to go back to town. We got to buy a fish bowl, <laughs> fix no. it to your head. <laughs> Okay. What did uh, Siegfried get? Uh, 15. 15? Uh, was that uh, Huey's perception check or just yours? Um, whatever it was, I got a natural one on it. Ah, cool. 17. Um, I got a 22. Ah, he's got eyes. All right. Yeah, it, uh, uh, Huey doesn't report back. He's, I, I, I don't see anything. Um, but a little while later, uh, the three of you, uh, outside of Benjamin, start to see, uh, figures on the ground. Um, they seem to be very large beasts. We found their livestock. You just see amongst the livestock, there is, um, a figure like a, a giant figure uh, it looks to be a cloud giant um amongst them uh and you do see like uh like you see like the main livestock are kind of all in one space and you do see they're smaller but still huge uh 
beasts around the outside of this livestock as well. You see, uh, as you get a little bit closer to you, you see like there's blue uh, uh, oxen, um, there's cloud sheep uh, with their rams. Um, yeah, that's the majority of what you see right now. Do we... seems, to be, seems to be some kind of canine things around the outside. Do we approach this one or do we do we see the castle? No. Um, I'll say Kevhorn. You do see, like, looking amongst the clouds higher up, uh, there just seem to be a grouping of clouds and poking through. You can see bits of a castle. It's over there. Do we approach the ground giant or do we just go straight to the castle? Well, um, this goes back to our question. Are we sneaking in or, or are we trying to get invited in? Uh, aim, uh, do we pretend we're going down to trade for something with that giant down there and hope he invites us in? I'm sure he's just a lowly, you know, farmer. Um, if we're going to talk our way in, I assume I would have just as soon go straight to the castle. Okay. But if we're going to sneak our way in, then we should perhaps wait until nightfall. Do we think if we approach the castle on Griffins, they will instantly shoot at us? I don't know. Possibility. You think they take their livestock up to the castle? Ooh, we could spy on that, that one there, and see what he does with them. I mean, I think they only, I think they do keep them grazing down here, and then just when they need them, maybe let's say harvest them, they bring them up. Like, yes, or it, I forget who told us, or when they're moving the castle, then they would bring all of their livestock up, but. Right. Seems they put them down for grazing purposes. So it would well, be. What if? Go on. What if we laid on one of those fluffy sheep down there and hid? Oh, 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 oh. Siegfried. And us, maybe took a nap. That's my kind of thinking. Um, I. We don't know how often they bring the livestock up, though. It's true, but I do, I do like it's this. A, I, I, I like the plan. It's a, it's a very fun plan. <laughs> you you get a nap too. What if we disguise ourselves as cloud sheep? Hmm. <laughs> hmm. I don't think that's within our capabilities with the current supplies we have. Oh, by the way, I forgot to introduce you to my new friend, and I'll hold out his hand, and a mouse comes scurrying up. This is, uh, <laughs> Brother Su Tougher Mouse. Oh, you did catch him after all. <laughs> yes, yes. Brother who? Suffer Mouse. Suffer? Yes, you. Suffer <laughs> Mouse, yes. He holds That's... the virtues of Ilmater, as I do, and I will, I will teach him the ways. That okay. is a wonderful name. Um, <laughs> I'll, I'll look to my owlbear. It's just <clears> hanging <throat> from your griffin. <laughs> um, uh, I'm gonna be like that. That that one's a friend. Okay, don't don't need it. <laughs> don't worry. I'll see if there's another one in the bag. I'm gonna reach in. I'm thinking of mouse. Okay, oh, roll a d20. Wait, can I do it too? <laughs> yes. I rolled a 15. There's no mouse in yours. Oh, sorry, buddy. I rolled a 12. No mouse. Is there a man? No. <laughs> Just throw him out from up here. <laughs> um, for my tea. I mean, we can just pretend to be passers-by 
and talk to that one down there and just kind of see what the situation is. I mean, if the farmer guy is friendly, then that might give us a hint as to the rest of the cloud giants disposition. Um, sure. Um, we can land a small distance away so that we don't, um, get attacked by him. I don't know what type of protection he will have. <clears throat> Great. Um, Benjamin, do you speak giant? I do. Okay. I, I do as well. I just, I couldn't remember. Okay. Good, good, good. All right. So you land your griffins. Uh, begin to approach. Are you coming from like the direction that he is standing on on the side of that herd, or the opposite side, or? Um, probably trying to approach him so it is more obvious to him that we're like not trying to sneak up on him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, you begin to approach. Uh. As you do so, you see these large canines that are like circling the outside of the herd. Um, as you're getting closer, <clears throat> one of them stops and you can see that it's sniffing the air. <clears throat> and you do see at this point, it has two heads. Oh um, and the one head sniffing turns to look at you and starts barking loudly, uh, signaling your approach. And like it turns to face you with both its head barking. Um, as this loud, large cloud giant kind of turns. Oh, what do you have got over there, Bruno? Hi ho! <laughs> That's giant for hi. Oh, <laughs> hi ho! Small folk approaching the herd. What's your. Not trying to steal our cloud fleece, are you? <laughs> No, we have no intention of stealing your All right, so well, there's no golden geese down here right now, so no golden eggs for you either. <laughs> um, we were um, traveling through here and saw uh, your herds and um, saw a um, peak of your castle. Are you entertaining visitors? We're quite interested in um, giants. Well, I could entertain you if you like, but, uh, I don't know, uh, well, I suppose, uh, I don't know if you have an invitation, he, like, looks at his wrist, doesn't work, watch on it, um, I don't know if you have an invitation, but, uh, it's gonna be the, uh, the Duke and Duchess's anniversary is coming up, um, uh, so, no there. way, yeah, yeah, it's, Pretty soon, uh, I know a few few other giants have been uh, coming in. I've been down here, so I don't know everything going on up there. Oh. But I know the the parade will be the anniversary parade will be heading this way. Um, big big ordeal, big ordeal. All the cloud giant kingdoms will be there. It'll be a great ball. Of course, I can't go. I'm watching watching the herd. That's a shame. Yeah, I mean, I'm, it's a beautiful like herd, though. Oh, thank you. I, I do my. I'm not the only one. Obviously, I couldn't be awake all the time. But um, yeah, they're they're beautiful little little creatures. All big to us. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, they would be. Uh... Hey, what are your names, friends? I'm Kilborn Kerrigan. Oh, nice to meet you. Hi ho, hi ho, hi ho. <laughs> Benjamin Koalana. Benjamin Koalana, very fancy. Have you guys been speaking in giants the entire time? I feel like we, yes, only because uh, yeah. I feel like that would be more, you know, calming to somebody that you're approaching, speaking their language. Yeah, especially if Kelborn introduced or <laughs> came in with the hi ho, the uh, <laughs> the hi ho. I think it would have been all in giant. Well, um, I would turn to uh, Siegfried and Kevhorn then and say, uh, do you in introduce yourself? Um, my name is Siegfried. Hmm, common Kevhorn. speech, common names. All right, all right. 
Hello, hello. Sorry, I didn't know. Didn't know we had the common tongue amongst us as well. Yeah, my yes, tongue's I... pretty common. Hmm. I apologize. I haven't gotten to study up on giant. Oh, it's all right. I can't expect you to know all the languages. <clears throat> Um, you had <laughs> spoken of a uh, parade for the Duke and Duchess. Yes, um, yes. I don't. Um, we may have missed the invitation for that. Um, my mm. friend here is uh, royalty in the Feywild, so I'm sure there's just a mix up oh. in that. Uh, who would we oh, speak geez. to about um, that type of uh, potential lapse in. Invitations. Well, you could uh, sp probably speak to uh, the Duke and Duchess's right right hand, uh, Arlthok. Uh, he does a lot of the um, <laughs> speaking for them amongst uh, other nobles when they're not around. Um, yeah, I, I I believe he's he's speaking with some other noble guests that are up there right now oh. uh, while they wait for the return of the Duke and Duchess. Um, excellent. Is there um, anything we should be aware of as we approach the castle? Oh, well, most might not notice you, so you'll have to make yourself known. Uh, you know, you know how small folk are sometimes. They just mm -hmm. kind of move in take advantage of That's your true. space you must always be careful not to be stepped on yes yes <laughs> uh. um excellent i apologize what is your name oh of course my name's uh crocog crocog it was a pleasure speaking with you oh a pleasure talking to you small folk Especially ones that aren't trying to steal from my flock. No, but uh, do you do trades? Uh, for what are you looking to trade for? I guess I I got like some coin in my pocket. Um, I I don't have a whole lot, but I am getting married next year. Oh, congratulations! And I was just thinking, oh. The cloud wool from your sheep would make a wonderful, a wonderful garment, or even a wedding dress from your bride. Oh, well, unfortunately, it's not mine to give. Uh, I do care for him, but it's the royal flock, and I'm not the one who shears and deals with the wool. I just no. make sure they're happy and healthy. Okay, perhaps um, so you you wouldn't happen to know who I'd speak to to. Uh, buy some uh, of that. You could probably ask uh, Arl, Arl Thok about that as well. Or the Duke and Duchess themselves once they return. Oh, I wouldn't want to bother them with such oh, a They small are rather thing. busy right now. Yeah. Well, All right, appreciate well, your time. Of course, of course. Um, and we'll We'll be on our way then. Again, thank you for mm. everything you've assisted us with. Of course, of course. Kind of tips his straw hat to you. Um, I think we then start making our way towards where we saw the castle. All right. Is this a full start. paw for the husband and the, the bride <laughs> and the groom to both wear white? <laughs> No, I mean, my parents can... both wore white their way. Okay. Okay, I just wanted to make sure. <laughs> DM insertion. <laughs> <laughs> you can also dye wool if you are nervous about no, that. No, yeah, that would ruin the cloud look. <laughs> mm, okay. Is, I feel like you really got to, like, nail down a theme. Because <laughs> last night we were talking about, like, seaside wedding. And now we're going for, like, cloud wool well, theme perhaps... for your... The cloud just, like we gotta wool. like focus down just a little bit we're very very wide net right now what if it's like giant themed uh, like we yeah. have <laughs> the cloud giants we have the the sea 
Uh... <laughs> <laughs> what if we have one of each of their heads on a pike <laughs> around the room? <laughs> what if what if you just used uh, thunder clouds for great like a maelstrom or um the, like the wet and, like the wool could be in, it could look like sea foam or something I don't know Perhaps we just—I feel like we got—we got lots of different ideas going on here. You were shopping around for chapels in the ten towns as well. It was like yeah, no, I think, themed. I think that's it's out like of really got a. <laughs> it's kind of cold up there. I, I don't, you know. <laughs> I think you that really should out. see the temple of Ilmater in in Baldur's Gate. I should. That'll be, uh, hopefully that'll be one of our next stops. What's our, what, what are we doing again? <laughs> <laughs> we are going to go speak to the Arl. Is that his title or his name? Oh, that was his name. Arl okay. Thok is his name. Arl Thok. Uh, we're going to go speak to Arl Thok and hopefully get the invitation that I'm sure was mistakenly not sent out to you, um, to the anniversary parade of the duke and the duchess uh don't i uh, i suppose we can say that theirs is going to be sent as soon as we have a date locked in for ours yes of course okay just just so that they know like ours ours will be there at some point yes yes <laughs> I also threw spores to everyone then also say they're probably not going to want an invitation when they realize we've robbed them. Oh shit, they're going to come back with vengeance at my wedding. <laughs> Should have given a fake name. Damn it. <laughs> I wasn't going to start with a fake name. You started giving your real name. So I was like, okay, I guess we're going real names. <laughs> it just was so friendly. I couldn't lie to him. <laughs> All right, you start flying towards the castle. Um, as you start to get amongst the clouds, uh, it starts. Uh, uh, the castle starts to unfold in front of you. Um, surprisingly, there is like a lawn, like green grass, that makes up a, a courtyard, a sprawling courtyard in front of this uh, very tall, um, almost like a Victorian or <laughs> like Victorian mixed with Greek. Uh, uh, architecture to this castle, like a lot of um, what are the what are the what are the what are the, what are the circular columns? No, They're uh, like coll uh, bat not battlements. Um, what are they called? But yeah, like the like the the circular uh, outcroppings of the building. Yeah, the, um, the things on the layout right there. People watching, I think. Uh, maybe I don't know. I don't, I don't know what the layout looks like. I'm watching a while. <laughs> I mean, I watch every. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, but yeah, like it's a very like old English looking castle. Um, Never mind, not very those. large, not those. <laughs> um, and you just see like there's a large pond out in the uh, in the uh, courtyard where giant swans are swimming, um, and there is. There's not a wall around the outside. They're up on the clouds. So they don't necessarily need that, but there is like buildings representing like guard houses um, on on the far end of the lawn from the castle. Uh, as this uh, beautiful building uh, stretches out before you. Um, land our griffins and then um, I'll um, again, spores to Kev Kelborn. Um, do you want, I can lie and say you're from a different court if you don't want as much heat on the spring court. Um, no, I mean that. Yeah, I guess. Um, but what if, uh, can I do like some sort of check to see if any courts have like a, a, um, marrying age individual that like this would make sense the story would make sense like other than the spring court uh do a history 
Uh, seven. Seven? I mean, you don't know how much they would know about the Feywild. Yeah. Sure. Um, we did just kill the the Winter Court. Maybe, maybe we say that one, and then oh shoot, oh our mother's dead, and the wedding's called off. Like it's in the future. <laughs> Um, did we, we knew the queen's name. Yeah, Isabel, 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 Isabella, Iso. Isabella, I believe it was, yeah. Yeah. I should have it here. I do have it here. I gotta find it. It was something similar to Maybe that, it's though. Isabel. It might be. It Isabella. Might be Isabel. It is Isabella. Isabella. <clears throat> You know there are lesser uh royals too in the Feywild. So mm -hmm. you could always choose one of those. Yeah, perhaps, you know, we say not quite prince as I am. Uh but you know, some other lord. Um, if we're gonna do this, we're gonna go big. I, we're trying to this but, is our talking our way in now. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. Yep, Isabella is uh, my future mother-in-law. Um, yes, we did recently invade the Spring Court, but they had it coming. It is also, in our, I mean, one, we don't have to bring that up. Two, as a member of the Spring Court and in high influence with the prince and with the princess and the king, you are marrying the daughter as a um, beginnings of peace offerings between the two. If it comes up, we don't have to volunteer any of that information. Your right. fiance's name is Irene. Irene, got it. The princess of the Winter Court. Irene. She. Never mind. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Never mind. Are you all right? Do you not want to do this? No, there's just nothing. Nothing. It's okay. Are you sure? Yep. That, no, that's that's great. I just was thinking of a joke. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. Start making our way towards the front door. Front door of the castle, or like the guardhouses. Um. Ooh, sorry. What? What if instead of me being from the Spring Court, I'm from the Summer Court, as a way to like we saw what happened to the Spring Court, so we decided to get in early and do the wedding. And just that sure. way, all heat is yep. off of the Spring Court in entirety. That works. That's fine. Okay. Um, would we like be obviously we'd be passing by like one of the guard stations essentially going up there going to the main gates? Um, yeah, if you were coming from that side, if you didn't land within the courtyard, then yes. Um, yeah, then I guess probably stopping at um, one of the guard houses again, not trying to sneak in because I guess we're chit chatting our way in now. So, all right, well, as you make your way to the guardhouses. That is where we're going to end tonight's session. Um, so you get ready to make your way into the Cloud Giant Castle uh, during what seems to be the anniversary of the Duke and Duchess. So, thank you so much for joining us for this session of Glory of the Giants. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, uh, leave a like and comment. You know, typical YouTube stuff. Uh, also, join us on our Discord if you haven't already. Um, otherwise, we'll see you guys next time. Let's keep making stories together.